My name is Jonah Jackson. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a visual artist, and this is the second episode of Among Us. I started off with just Canvas. But since I've been in this, in this program at CGU uh, for about a year now, I've been using found materials. And I've been using a, I've been using canvas, wood, masonite, just anything I can, anything I can like find to like um, put paint on, or like crayons or oil pastels, just so it can have like a different reaction on that on that material. Creativity to me is um, thinking outside the box. Just looking at the art forms and the art that that came before us, and like putting your spin on it. To me, that's what I think it is. I think it's just a part of your like penmanship almost. It's kind of like having your own signature and like just continuing to like work and like develop that like distinctive look. And I think it'll come like in due time. I think it was just like the, uh, the way I was like raised and um, I was raised by my mom on the weekends and my dad during the week. And it, it just gave me like these different perspectives of life. And it made me just kind of like see things differently. And that's kind of like why my art has so many, like multi it has multiple perspectives. So you can look at it any type of way and have any type of interpretation, I think. I figured out like painting was my passion in a painting class for none art majors. And I was a junior and I was a business major. And uh, I took that class, bro, and I fell in love with it. And I switched over to art, and I was just like, "Yeah, this is this is it." Like, I figure, I think I found my passion, or that's what I that's what I still feel like. Like, this is what I'm passionate about, and I'm giving it like all my 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 time, and I'm pa I'm just really passionate. I think it's just like having the drive to like want to create. And I think uh, just kind of like telling myself, like, you got to keep creating, keep thinking of new things and trying to like to keep the like the bad, like the bad thoughts that are like bring you down, like from creating and just can continue to throw those like thoughts in the trash and like force yourself to think of new things and creative things and read, even read books and watch interviews of your favorite creatives and just like get inspired from them. I would tell them, cause I hit those roadblocks all the time too. I would tell them to just like sketch, always sketch, write out your thoughts, write out your desires and like stuff you like wanna make. Even like the things you, you're having a hard time making, just write it out and just kinda like put yourself in the perspective in those writings of like what you wanna do, what you, like where you see yourself too. Uh, so right now I'm working on my Nipsey Hustle piece, and that Nipsey Hustle, uh, that one was, I, I've been working on that one for like 10 or 11 months since his death, and I'm releasing it on the day, I'm not releasing it, but I'm showcasing it on the day of his, the anniversary of his death, and that's the day of my thesis show. So I think it'll be kind of crazy, especially the way I'm, uh, I'm displaying it, I'm displaying it like it's a marathon. I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, that one's, that's like, that's like one of my, I've been working on that one like every day. Uh, Carrie James Marshall, uh, Miloko Migasi, Carol Walker. Those sculptures are crazy. They really talk about the black subject in a, in a, in a profound way to me. And the way they do it is very creative and outside the box. And, uh, it's just, it's intriguing. Like it's things that like catch my eye. That's that's just different. It's different to me. Like if it catches my eye, it's like okay, they really like putting in some work on, on this artwork, and they really trying to make a statement, and they trying to like be um, known forever. Just the black community, and I think I try to put that in my in my pieces so we can have like this this representation of the hood that's in museums. Yeah, man, that's something that like really is insp that really inspires my work. Trying to have something that like we can relate to that's on the wall and something that's nostalgic 
that kind of like represents the experience of being black. I feel like it could also relate to other races as well, depending on like where they come from and what they see things and what, what, what they see in my work. So I think like showing it to like the youth is a good thing. It's like, all right, it's okay to talk about like where you come from and like who you are and like your identity. And it's like having like representation of that because it's a lack of it. You can walk through a museum and not see nobody that looks nothing like you. But now today's like since the, some of the artists I said that inspired me, they're like making a way for that, paving a way for that. I would tell myself to just stay confident, um, stay confident, and stay motivated and just keep believing in myself too. Because when I was switching majors to art, I was like really unsure. I was just like, man, I don't know. I just wanna, you know, cause I was doing, I was, I, when I switched over, I was doing bad in business. And I, I was like, man, I just wanna get my GPA up. And I feel like this is the way. And it did, it did help my, it did uh, increase my GPA, but it also, I was also like lacking confidence in what I wanted to do. So I would tell myself to just remain confident, um, and stay motivated. This is like, when I say write out your desires, this is what I do all the time. Uh, I wanna be showing and at least showing my artwork in like different continents, different countries. Uh, I wanna be selling artwork, of course, <laughs> but um, I wanna do some art shows outside of the United States. And in 10 years, I want to at least do, have done like exhibitions in at least 20 states. It's 50 states here, but at least 20 states in, the, in the, uh, at least 10 years. And it kind of opens people up to like my experience and to others' experience. So I'm not just speaking for myself. And I think that's like something that needs to be uh, experienced. Like you get to like put yourself in someone's shoes and you get to not turn like the blind eye to like what's going on. It helps the world and I'm not gonna say like my work just helps the world, but I think it, it takes a step into that. You get to experience what I'm experiencing because a lot of my pieces I'm, I'm talking about my memories or just experiences I've been through or experience that I've seen or things that I've seen and just kind of making replica replications of that. I bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Just someone that was like always like trying to do something different and challenge myself with each piece and also trying to engage the audience or the viewers that's looking at my work. So, you know, always letting them know like, you know, it's something deeper in my pieces. It's something like um, I'm walking them down like memory lane with some pieces and everything is not the same. So it's always, you can come to it with a, with a different interpretation. You can look at it differently. If you in SoCal, uh, March 31st, I'm having my thesis show at Claremont Graduate University uh, from six to nine. I think it'll be a great experience. Um, I say come out, please. My Instagram is Jonah, J-O-N-A-H dot J-A-Y, Jonah J. And my website is Jonah J dot art.